G'day, here we are on the uh, northern edge of Albury, looking towards the Victorian ski fields behind us. There's probably still people having fun there in the snow, but that won't last much longer as the weather's turning really sunny at the moment. I'm Chris, and I'm part of Albury Bible Church. Um, I've been here about a dozen years, and what sort of things have been happening to us? One highlight for us this year is working out a little bit about what our priorities are. We haven't gone for five M's because I can never remember that many details. We've gone welcome, grow, serve. And we're working through the process of what that means for us in practice, helping individuals and in structure. That's been a real highlight this year. People have been very excited and it's clarified what we're doing as a church. That's fantastic. Another highlight um, has been last weekend we finished the uh, our usual course called Connect. We run through Mark's Gospel with people every term. Over those uh, weeks we had five people who are non-Christians with us. Now seeing as we get about 50 adults on a, on a Sunday mornings, that's 10% of our congregation effectively. So it's been good to do evangelism and it's been good this year to think about where we're going with Welcome, Grow, Serve, how our structures can work better to help people. What are our challenges? What have they been this year? I reckon there's a couple of challenges we're thinking about. Firstly is the way we uh, help people get into being part of Albury Bible Church. The people flow if you like. Uh, we've got bits and pieces which happen but helping people move from outsiders, making contact, getting their details, following up, introducing them to what church is about and the gospel and to our values, that the smooth transition through those things isn't, isn't as good as it could be. So we're working hard at that and it's a challenge to think about what process we need to put in place. That's the first of our challenges. The second one that we've really identified in this last few months is um, a bit of a gap with the ministry to young teens and therefore to their families. We've lost a few people who've gone to other churches that have a bigger youth ministry and though our Christ Sunday School and uh, the sort of 10 to 12 year old ministry is going well, the next step is a bit of a hole for us and we'd like to care for those ages better and care for their families better. So that's a challenge we're addressing at the moment. So you want to know about our plans, our hopes? Well, there's a couple of things to talk about. Firstly, since we've done uh, Welcome, Grow, Serve, I've found I've talked to a lot more people about specific areas of ministry, helping them think about how they're evangelists or how, how they help people grow uh, Christians or how they serve people. Uh, so we're getting more people involved with ministry with Welcome, Grow, Serve, and that's a fantastic thing. I'm looking forward to seeing that happen more and more. Uh, a very specific uh, hope that we're working on is trying to get a, a paid high school scripture teacher in the local high schools. There's three public high schools in Albury, no scripture in any of them. So we're um, part of a group of churches thinking about how to do that. And on the back of that, we'd really love to see some more high school age ministry happening. So there's some things that we're thinking about, praying about, and beginning to see some progress in too. So you can thank God for those things. Something distinctive about Albury is, though we're a small church at the moment, no longing to be bigger, um, though we're a small church, we're connected with a few other ministries. So in our congregation, we've got a, a full-time AFES worker. Dave Fowler uh, serves the, the uh, campuses of Charles Sturt University here in Albury, and over in Wodonga, there's La Trobe University. And as well as that, there's Pete Ritchie, who's uh, doing ministry with Focus Military Ministry on the big army base just outside of Wodonga. So though we're a small church, we've got a, a good number of people who are trained in ministry and very well supportive of the church ministry as well as um, uh, ministries outside of that as well. It's, it's a good base from which to work and to be encouraged in gospel truth. 